Kyle Tanner. I can talk this evening. Chris Boy rings the bell. Here we go. This is scheduled for five, three five-minute rounds, 15 minutes of heavyweights. Let's see what kind of range Williams gives Tanner here. Boy, lots of range. That's interesting. Oh, that's Ooh, that a little low. low. That was definitely a low yeah. shot. Not intentional. Yeah. Didn't seem that way, but it definitely looked a little bit too high. And you heard it. I mean, he caught it yeah. directly square. Right at. Tanner's going to have to move back over to his a, a, a neutral corner until we get now. Explain to people, because we haven't had you here in a while, so explain to people the rule on this, how this works. With now, Here comes the crowd. This is what we're talking about. Here comes the crowd. They're going to start encouraging James a little bit. All right, here we go. Chris Boy raises it up, and now we're ready to fight. Now he's mad. Now we're, now we're serious. He should have been serious before. Look, look at how Tanner's hands are down. Williams, good balance. Look at these guys hit the cage. This whole thing's moving. Great balance. Well, I was really alarmed by Tanner's hands being down during those exchanges. And you can see both guys are kind of rushing this position rather than establishing control first. It's a little bit better now here by Williams. James Williams in the red glove, Tanner in the blue gloves. It's like Williams just got irritated standing over there. Just got madder and madder while he was recovering. They, we didn't see this kind of, uh, of aggressive when we when they came out. Oh, excellent knee right up the gut. You saw it force the reaction there from Tanner. Uh, should be noted, Ron Stallings, the, the coach here, is excellent in the clinch. Really powerful knees. Has won a number of fights. He beat former Green Bay Packer Whisper Goodman with knees wow. in the clinch. So you can see how the angular ways that Williams able to swoop in and find open spots, not just straight through the middle with power, but in it, like coming in in an arc on the side. I guarantee you Stallings has, has, has made that a point of emphasis. In training. James Williams starting to show some marks now on the thigh and the stomach where he's caught those knees, and those knees look like they stung. Yeah, he doesn't wear punishment well. No, he doesn't. That looks like it bruised the stomach already, like a bruise showing, almost not just red, but going to turn black and blue on him. And his thigh is totally red. There's another knee yeah, for Williams. You see how he's grabbing the top of his head with his left hand? This is so not what you're supposed to be doing. You have to, like that. You see like he's trying to almost like a bulldog? Yeah, yeah like a hip, he's instead of a hip throw. You, you have to control the inside space. If you're going to wrap the head, you have, yeah, it's fine. But then you have to do something with it kind of pretty quickly. These guys are so big and powerful. You see how he's got his leg on the outside. You would do that if he was going for a takedown. Right. You wouldn't do that in this particular circumstance. Williams trying to push it, push Tanner up against the cage here, keeping him there in the clinch. Now maybe he's got a good head and arm throw. I don't know. I don't know. The throw 230. Let's see. Follow it. the right hand here of Williams, controlling the right arm. You see that? Another. That's, that's going to prevent him from getting tossed. And another knee to the thigh. That's just going to keep stinging. Oh, there's another knee to the inside, opposite leg. I like to call this standing ground and pound. Ah. When two guys are leaning against the fence like this and they're kind of jockeying for position, and the guy on the outside is just banging on the guy on the inside, you can, it, it, it works. And he's just grinding his head into the cage. We talked yeah. about this before. You got to move. You just can't have your back facing. Oh, somebody. another big there's, knee. There's no way to win a fight like that. If someone's behind you like that, there's no You're way never going to win like that. Just his knee is just pounding. It's just punishing blows. If I'm Tanner, I'm trying to separate at all costs here. It's not going well for you here. Do something different. Just punishing, punishing blows to his thigh. And you can see his thigh starting to show marks. There he goes down. I, I think Tanner just thought that my, my legs hurt so bad, I can't stand up now. Right. It looked like he tried to have a two-on-one and throw him over his left side, but he didn't have the leverage for it properly. He needs to stand here fast and turn and face him. Back up to his feet, Tanner goes in the blue gloves, Williams in the red gloves, still in control. Tanner has been on the defensive since the time has started back after the low blow. Another low blow. I didn't quite see that. I didn't see it either. Knees. Looks like he also took one over the left eye as well. Oh, I, yeah, he does. He looks like his, his left eye is definitely getting a little darker. This red. Yeah. Now, look, I don't think Tanner was winning necessarily out here, but this is much better for him here. Yeah, I mean, he got separated. He's, now he's in a better spot, but let's see what happens here. Still a little blood coming from the mouth of Williams. I don't know where Tanner caught him. Another knee to the stomach. Tanner's just not landing any blows, and he's got to separate and, and, and figure something out. He keeps going for that head wrap, and he's doing nothing with it. I just don't understand. That's good. He has double underhooks. He can do something here. Good job by Williams pummeling back in. 
And it's another low blow. Yes, it's another low blow. You've got to take a point. You've got to take a point. You've got to be kidding me. Let's see what happens here. I, I saw it too. It's definitely no, low. Is he taking a point? Yeah. Just yeah. Like, there's no excuse for it. It's ridiculous. All right. James says he's ready. Here we go. James Williams in the red. Stephon Tanner fighting in the blue. Tanner back out. Right, Both fighters right back on top of the logo, right in the middle of the cage. Yeah, and I found Williams, I'm seriously reconsidering clinching. Yeah, you definitely don't want to clinch. His body looks like he's already been beat up. He looks like he's covered in poison ivy. Still on top of the Domino's logo, making their way around the cage, right in the middle. And if I'm, if I'm Tanner, I'm staying away from the cage. Look, this, that, that right hand didn't even hit him his eyes open. There's a left landed by Tanner. He's just kind of sleeping wildly though. I was that guy. If I'm here, I'm backing out. There's the end of round number one. Sweet and merciful Jesus. <laughs> the end of round number one between James Williams and Stephon Kyle Tanner. Man, I, I don't know what you say. We've had plenty of time to go and talk to him. Finally, the, the seconds can come in and talk to their fighters. I, I mean, obviously, the winner of round one is James Williams, even though right there for the last 15 to 20 seconds, Tanner was on the plus, and, and, and Williams turned his back for a second, like he was running away. Yeah, his, his defensive instincts in those positions are telling me that's not a place he finds himself often and right. he's not quite sure what to do. And, and the aggressive nature of Tanner after getting his wind back, it's almost like Tanner benefited from this five minute break more than, than Williams did. In a way, sure. And it's like, hey, commit the penalty. If I'm getting beat up along the cage and I'm taking knees to the thigh and I'm taking knees to the stomach, take the penalty. Round number two coming up in this title fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Round two between James Williams and Stephon Tanner. This fight brought to you by Blue Label Customs and Cherokee Dex. Get the cage all locked up. Chris Boyd checks them both. And here we go. He brings Williams and Tanner right back out to the middle. No touching of the gloves. Tanner comes out, throws a left. Just a little spar. Nothing. Just ooh, just a hard right. Tanner comes out mad. Don't ever make me wait again. Yeah, but you see, look who's trying to be a, a make more uh, appropriate use of distance. Right. Two chopping and, and who's putting uh, shots together. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that a big shot here from Tanner won't close the show, but he's just winging it and then rushing. Williams closing distance for Tanner on that right. Tanner's two kicks to the left leg of Williams look like they chop him down a little bit. But you got to get off the cage. Both fighters standing right here in front of us, right here at the start of round two. Good lefts from Williams to the face of Tanner. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a bizarre method of control that Tanner's willing to allow. Now he's got his hands in there, so Tanner or Williams cannot lock anything in. He's not going to get anything there. Right, but he's another knee, third knee. Those legs are getting chopped down. He's just really taking it. Thinking. It's one thing to say, I'm not getting the inside of my, I, I, you're wrapping over my arms. Okay, fair enough, but you can't stay there. Right. The right knee to the left thigh of Tanner, that's six in a row. And, and Tanner tried the old foot stop that you say hardly ever works. People are tempted to use it. It does work occasionally. Right. But against really good guys, it does nothing. I mean, he is just chopping those legs down. Ooh, Tanner comes out throwing lefts and rights. Ooh, good left from Tanner to the side of Williams' face. Yeah, if I'm Williams here, he's got that right side. Of, yeah, look, there was nothing controlling him. He was able to get behind him and now back away. If I'm him, I'm backing away. I guess he just wants to knee him to oblivion here. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing but knees, but if, if all you can do to this guy is chop him down, and it, and it looks like Tanner has him hooked in there. It looks like he's got a real hook. But like you said, who wants to fight backwards? He just holds on to him. 
See that? Yeah. Kind of holds on now, to Now, can the referee break that up? Uh, he could. I mean, he'd be within his right, but it, 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 not exactly best practices. You see him there doing a little bit of hand fighting. He's going to try and go for a Kimura here, but let's see what he does with it, even if he gets it. Yeah, I don't... Uh, did, see how he wraps the head like that? Yeah. I just, I don't understand. It almost looks like a uh, uh, WWE move. <laughs> it keeps his posture over, but so what? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't hold him in place. Yeah, I... I you can I, still rotate on an axis, but you're like he's going to throw him against the ropes and wait for him to bounce back. And he's lucky that Williams hasn't tried to like, get his hips under him and lift him. He's a big boy, but you can still... If you get your hips underneath someone like that, you can do nasty things. And he just... Tanner just tried something I haven't seen in a while. It was a mule kick. He tried to kick backwards. But he definitely doesn't want to keep taking these knees to the leg. He does not like this. Like each time he feels it coming, he picks his leg up because he knows it's going to hurt. He's going to have to get off this cage. Ooh, that's a good knee. You can tell it almost went, made him go down. If I'm Williams, I'm trying to sneak to a corner and see if I can't fire a knee up to the face as... Tanner's bent over a little bit. It almost looked like Williams was going to try to pick him up and toss him. Ooh, good knee to the stomach. Again, I just don't, I, I've never seen, I, I'll be honest, I've never seen anything like that. That's just the inexperience probably of Tanner. I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't like kind of work a little bit. Yeah, I mean, if he can get this locked in. That's a little bit deep actually. Yeah, if he can get that locked in. So it's more of a front headlock. He might, he might have that locked in. No, but he's got out. He's got to get his weight underneath it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. But you're right. He had it there for a moment. He was able to whip it to the ground with it. Yeah. Oh, right to the left from both fighters. Five minutes is forever when you weigh 230 pounds. Five seconds is forever. I mean, it's just you're just standing up there and you're just getting crushed. And this fight. <laughs> has been lasting forever. We're, we're coming up on 30 minutes now for this one fight, and we're still in round two, Luke. And more Kimuras, a la Sakuraba. That's the end of round number two between James Williams in the red corner and Stephon Tanner fighting out of the blue corner. I don't, I don't think that... I mean, Tanner lasted... And he stayed on his feet. He did a little better this time. We didn't have the big pauses, but I still think Williams maybe came away with that round also. You know, it's interesting about the uh, dimensions of this cage. Um, it's much smaller than a UFC cage, for example. Right. That means if you're a striker, you've got much less room to move. Right. So if you're a guy who wants to fight a range and you want to fight a cagezilla, my recommendation to you is work on your jab, work on your defensive movement, and work on your front kicks, side kicks, anything that anything that establishes range. Because otherwise, guys like Tanner, who are strong and big, they don't have to do much to get a hold of you and then put your back on the fence, and now you're playing his game a little bit. Right. It's a constant, it's a constant battle in there with this guy, and like you said, he does not want to be against the cage at all. I'm looking to see a guy who can come out and stick and move. Let's see what happens here with Tanner as Crystal Boy makes sure the cage is closed and locked up and ready to roll. But Tanner has come out, the, 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 even in the first round after the first, you know, delay, he came out throwing rights and just wild rights. Look, no touching of the gloves this time. Look, just lefts and rights. Oh, my God. That was an ill advised. Oh, he's caught him three times. That's wow, well enough. nicely done. He had, a good, he had a good reach for him. He didn't quite get deep enough on it. And Wade was able to stuff it. Well done. And this is what happens. Though. Tanner goes over, gets fresh. He can throw three or four blows, and he lands him. And instead of keeping back, he tries to put pressure on him. Good knee. But see, here, you mentioned before with Oscar Ramirez. See that right underhook Williams has? Follow him. I'm jacking it up. And look, there's nothing holding his head. Yeah. Just get up behind him like that. Just like that. That's why you don't want to just grab someone's head like that. Because when you do... Oh, separated him. Good. Because when you do, someone can just pop out the back corner. That's why you don't see people do that. Good front kick from Williams to the midsection of Tanner. Both fighters look inside. Williams just kind of looks like he's in a street fight here now. Looks very, very tired. Yeah. You can imagine, look, also getting kicked in the groin does wear you out. Three times. Not once, 
three times. You see, look, he's resting yeah. by the cage. He's tired. He's rest not just that, but he's resting by the cage. Okay, this is almost evasion. Yeah. You're allowed to you're allowed to move, but you're not allowed to avoid the fight. Ooh, good front kick. Tanner now almost looks like he Williams thinks that he has the fight won, so he's gonna stay away from Tanner. Because he's caught him with some rights and lefts early in the round. Now he's running away. Ooh, oh, oh. Good kick from Tanner to the midsection. Oh, a good knee from Williams. Look, if, I, if I'm speaking for the crowd, and I'm not, but I'm going to try, the first round kind of sucked. This fight is now starting to get great. Yeah, it's actually been pretty fun here. Towards the end of the second round and this round. Oh, he tries to toss. He doesn't ever have leverage for it. I don't know why he's trying it. Oh, oh look at that. That's it, right. I don't know what... I don't know what the corner of Williams is screaming at well, Chris Avoy. Well, if he could survive the round, it's his fight, right? The guy lost the point and he yeah. won the first two rounds. Don't get finished here. Yeah. Williams' corner, though, is screaming at Chris Avoy like something wrong, and I didn't see anything wrong from Tanner. Tanner was throwing rights and lefts, and he might have this sunk in there. Also, if I'm, if I'm Tanner, I'm the one trying to separate. I'm winning at range. Yeah, I've got it. Tanner's got to be aggressive wow, here. Wow, these two, they are tired. Tanner has to be aggressive. If Tanner wants to win this thing. This is what I mean, sticking and moving, sticking and moving. I mean, I know he's tired, but he's resting with his back on the cage. This is like an old switch. It's so inadvisable. Honestly, honestly, this is true. If the referee wanted to, he could take a point for evasion. Oh, he just missed. Williams ducked. Tanner lands two rights. Turns his back, why are you looking back to him? They're both tired. He, you know what's funny is you've just never seen anybody evade like it's a boxing ring. We've never seen this before. I don't think... No, no sticking and moving is not evading. Evading is literally yeah. just... No, it is, I see it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody just try to stay away. Oh, look, he's a tough guy. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because you get kicked in the groin like that three right, times. Right. It's going to just zap you. Yes. So I understand that, but you still can't do that, you know? Yeah, Tanner, and Tanner has to separate, like you said. If he wants to win, he can't lay on him. He's not going to win this fight if he just stays there. And Williams is just big tired, going down to a knee. Oh, he tries to take down. Great job from Williams. See, he's got any of that gear team. He's got nothing holding him there, so no. And then he passes to the set, to the opposite side. Good job, actually, there by James Williams. James Williams on top in the red gloves. Tanner on the bottom. Got to be getting close to the end of round three of this title fight, which was vacated by our, my man Cobra, Josh Brown. So this this belt is vacated right now. So standing them up. That's interesting. Not sure what the cause of that is, but all right. Wow, hands on your knees. International yeah. sign for I come, come, come get me, yes. I'd like to see these guys. I know they're tired, and I know they're tough. I'd love to see them gutted out here for the last part of this fight. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see them fight again without the low blows. Right. Right. It's competitive. Tanner has the, uh, uh, just, just a lot of heart sitting in there, but so does Williams after getting kicked. I thought Tanner was done. Last 10 seconds oh, of the nice. side of the fight. Tanner almost looks out right now. Let him go. That was he might fall nice in the road. Look at wow. him. They're just done. Both fighters. That's the end of this title fight. What a great fight between James Williams and Stefan Tanner. Wow. Williams is just beat tired. He's been kicked in the groin. Tanner beat tired. His body looks like he's totally red. He's got marks all over him. <laughs> That was fun. We don't uh, really usually have a lot of fun with the heavyweights. Yeah, I'm curious to see how they uh, recover here. It's interesting that Tanner, not that sweaty. Yeah, I just Williams, you know, I mean, pretty exhausted. He's just exhausted and got just that first round took so much out of him. Three times in the groin, just really not a lot you can do about it. And, and to come out and fight 15 more minutes. And this fight has been going on literally since. <laughs> it's been going on. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. When you say it, it makes it real. I mean, we've been watching these two guys fight for such a long time. It feels like we've been here 
I, I, on my clock it says 40, I'm sorry, 22 minutes. It seems longer than that. Wow. Both corners in there with both fighters, trying to check them out the seconds. Really not a lot of blood on either fighter. Had some blood coming out of uh, Williams' mouth early after the first round. Tanner still on the stool, trying to figure some things out. I'm sure the judges are gonna try to catch up with this. Well, let's go to Chris Fuller for the call of our first title fight tonight here in Cagezilla 39. You know what's funny? I wonder what he would look like, Williams, without those groin shots. You yeah. Know? And he's got the belt. Look, he can barely stand. Although he is smiling. Yeah. So that's the good news. But to your point, uh, if, if they did it again, I wouldn't mind it so much. I mean, I, I'm, I'm always for fresh matchups. But it'd be kind of interesting to see what he looked like without getting just... Uh, I would love to see it. I want to see him, and I hope there's a rematch soon. All right, KZO 39 will continue. We'll be right back from the Silver Eagle Group here in Ashburn, Virginia.